Flex and Gate has announced the purchase of a central Illinois automotive factory. The company bought Eagle Wings Industries on Shell House Drive off of Route 136 in Rantoul. But some are surprised by the move considering last week's layoff at the Flex and Gate location in Effingham. WCI3's Jamal Williams tells us how one worker felt hearing that news a week after being let go. I think it's definitely added a lot of stress to people's shoulders, but at this point, we're just kind of sticks in the mud waiting to hear back on when we can return to work. It hasn't been easy for one former Flex and Gate worker who wanted to remain anonymous. As one of hundreds laid off last Wednesday, she says it's been hard navigating a life without a job. And this week's news about Flex and Gate buying Eagle's Wings and Rantoul makes it even more difficult. It was a little surprising given the timing of everything. I think once other operators and team leads um, hear about this news, they'll probably feel the same. Now, her focus is on getting a part-time job. She says unemployment benefits aren't enough to cover her monthly expenses. Unfortunately, a lot of us operators that are on unemployment during this layoff are making about less than half of our actual wages. About $800 less than her regular monthly pay. In a statement, Flex and Gate officials said the Eagles Wings facility will be rebranded as Flex and Gate Rantoul and will offer employment to Eagles Wings workers. Rantoul Mayor Chuck Smith says the move is something that will benefit the entire village. It'll add more money and it'll also add more uh, building uh, to the community and give people a new opportunity. And it also gives Rantoul a fresh new face in the community. Smith says the acquisition will also mean expanding operations and bringing more production work to Rantoul. Despite the struggle of making ends meet, the woman I spoke with says she's optimistic the new location means she can eventually return to work. I've never had supervisors and team leads show so much compassion for their teams as they do at Flexingate. And I just really hope that this is a positive sign for the company because at the end of the day, what I care about most is my team. In Rantoul, I'm Jamal Williams, WCI3, your local news leader. Officials say the Flexing Gate transfer will be complete by the end of the year. We asked the spokesperson if or when there will be any updates on laid off employees in Effingham. He says they are hoping for a timely resolution.